Sal Intronado here for RecordOnline.com, recapping a 31-21 Army loss to Rutgers here at Mikey Stadium. It was the Army seniors' last game here, last home game. They had one game left. Army's two and nine, heading into Navy on December 12th at Lincoln Financial Field. And if there's anything you take away from this game, is uh, freshman quarterback Chris Carter, his first college game, first college start, threw for 140 yards, uh, most by an Army quarterback since Trent Steelman at Kent State in 2010. That's when Army clinched its last bowl game. Uh, he led Army in rushing with over 100 yards today. And, uh, you know, just looked ready to play. Had a nice 45-yard run down the sidelines, connected on a 65-yard pass to Edgar Poe um, for a touchdown late in the third quarter, which pulled Army to within 31-21. Um, just it looked pretty good. I mean, from the start, he took the first play from scrimmage, got six yards, got ready, uh, jumped right in and played. Um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen at Navy. You know, Bradshaw, my Bradshaw would probably be healthy enough to play. I asked Coach at this press conference if uh, Carter did enough to be considered as the starter for the Navy game. And uh, Coach Munkin said, you know, you want to really base it on one game. And he didn't know. He said that Bradshaw and A.J. Shore had done enough to uh, also maybe start in that game. So who knows? I'm not going to tip your cap three weeks before the game, but I think Carter should be in the conversation. Why not? He gave Army a little bit of life. Kelvin White at the press conference said, hey, you know, I was taking in everything today. I was enjoying my final game here, the senior tight end said. And he's like, one of the, I just liked watching the uh, Chris play today and the confidence that he had and the poise that he showed. So, you know, um, see where Army goes forward today. Uh, it's just Rutgers a little bit too much Paul James. He had three rushing touchdowns. And uh, Army had some turnovers in some crucial um, situations. Carter wasn't perfect in his first game. Um, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter, he threw an interception in the end zone looking for Tyler Campbell that Josh Hicks picked off. Um, Hicks today played running back last week against Nebraska, moved to safety this week against Army to help stop the triple option, recovered a fumble, and picked off an interception in the end zone, both of Army's turnovers. So he was around the ball today. Um, you know, other than that, I'm trying to look for uh, other stuff and other positives in this game. Uh, it was really Chris Carter. It was Edgar Poe. You know, um, Aaron Kemper had a, a nice uh, touchdown run um, in the second quarter, his third of the season. Um, he found he found some yardage. There wasn't really a lot on the inside for Army today other than that Kemper run, really. They got to the outside a little bit with um, Tyler Campbell and Christian Drake and found some yards there. A um, couple injuries to note. John Trainer hurt early in the game, did not return. believe it was a shoulder injury. Um, Ryan England, one of the last plays of the game, Rutgers just running out the clock, you know, hopped, uh, limped off the field, looked like it was a right knee injury for the starting sophomore safety. So not really what you want at the end of the game. This one was decided, and uh, Ryan England got a little banged up. Hope it's not anything serious because, you know, Army will definitely need England against Navy um, on December 12th. Um, offensively, again, we talked about defensively. Um, no, not much to talk about really there. No uh, turnovers for the Army uh, defense today. And, uh, you know, they, they got some pressure on the quarterback sometimes, but weren't really the, able to sack uh, Chris Leverine, uh, Chris, um, sorry, the Rutgers quarterback. Uh, they weren't really able to do anything with him and uh, to get him down. I mean, they, they, they showed some pressure at the line. Snaps from the Rutgers center to uh, the quarterback. And the shotgun were really bad, and uh, Army couldn't really get to the quarterback in time to really put, you know, any pressure on him. So, um, you know, the Black Knights uh, finish the home season here at Mikey Stadium one and five, not what they expected here this season. I thought that Army, if Army could split here at home, who knows, maybe get a couple games on the road, maybe they could hit hit the postseason this year. I was thinking it was going to be a five and seven season, maybe for Army get close to five hundred. And now Army heads, like we said, 2-9 and nine into that final game against Navy. So um, we'll be back then from uh, Lincoln Financial Field. But for now, we'll sign off. I'm Sal Interdonato for RecordOnline.com.